guys and welcome to another video in today's video I am going to just share with you what I got up to this month what is it now it's March and it is about the 14th I think uh, we've just got back from a two-week holiday from New Zealand and we got up to lots of stuff whilst we were there and I'm filming in the car because I am really strapped for time. We got back two days ago. Yesterday was just couch potato day where you just try and recover from your flight. It takes all day for us to get back from New Zealand to back to our, our house. Uh, and it's just really tiring. So yesterday was couch potato day. I really need to do groceries, but last night for dinner we had tin fruit. Yep. Because <laughs> that's what was in the cupboard. And for breakfast I think I had baked beans. Lunch I can't even remember. Yesterday was just a blur, we just vegged out all day. Uh, which was nice because you don't normally get to do that. And yeah, so today I am going to get some groceries, otherwise we'll be eating tin fruit and baked beans for a week if we don't if I don't go and get some groceries. So Yeah, so back to our holiday. We went over for 13 days ish. I don't actually know how long we went for. I think it was about that. It doesn't really matter. And I wanted to go to the Unwind Yarn Retreat, which is in Dunedin. And I've been twice before, but the, twice, the two times before I went, I actually lived in New Zealand. So it was easy for us to go because we lived... I think about 10 minutes from the middle of the city of Dunedin so for us it was really easy to go when I say us I don't mean me and hubby because hubby didn't go <laughs> for myself it was easy to go yeah so not living there now and living in Australia I just wanted to go back and we wanted we wanted to catch up with friends and yeah we just wanted to catch up with friends we haven't been back for I think we got back in July last year around then I can't I can't remember it's just gone so far fast um, so I think that's about seven or eight months since we've been back time goes fast but you still miss everything you know you miss all the people and the places and the, and the food that you got used to eating so yeah it was loads of fun I went to the yarn retreat there's a big bump there I went to the yarn retreat with my beautiful friends Carmen Elena and Karen Hi guys, it is the night before unwind. So one more sleep, yay! I'm just in the motel room. I'm not talking very loudly because my window is open and there are people next door. And I don't particularly want them to hear what I'm talking about. Oh, it's very shaky. Let me swap hands. There we go. So it's night before unwind. I'm very excited. Uh, Unwind Yarn Festival is a three-day festival in Dunedin and it starts tomorrow at 11 o'clock so I'm very excited and I get to catch up with lots of friends I haven't seen for a long time so very excited about that um, I'm just sitting here in the motel room and I am knitting my The Weekend sweater by Andrea I think I can't think of what her name is but I'm going to put the links uh, in the show notes which will be available on my website. I'm using my Chowgu needles and I can tell that because they have a red cord. These are really good, they're lovely and sharp. I don't know if you can tell that, it's probably better there. They're lovely and sharp and they have a cord and it doesn't have any memory so it doesn't twist up like some of them can. And this is Malabrigo yarn. Um, I'm not sure what the colour is but I will put the details across the screen. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. I don't know if I can fit the whole thing in. No. But that's how much I've done. This one starts at the bottom band. Um, you knit that first and then you continue on with the body. Tomorrow at the Yarn Festival I will be taking my crochet with me because I can crochet and not really have to pay attention where if I'm knitting I do have to pay attention to what I'm doing so yeah I will take in my crochet work and I hope to get some footage of the yarn stalls that are there um, and get some footage about 
what's going on. But yeah, I'm very excited. I keep looking like that because that's I'm actually looking at my screen. I probably look like I'm looking over your shoulder somewhere. But um, yeah, very excited. I cannot wait. Uh, the weather here is cloudy outside, but it's 20 degrees, so that's not too bad. It's for, we're in Dunedin in New Zealand, and it can get quite cold here. This is where we used to live, and we've came back for two weeks uh, for the Arm Festival, but also to catch up with friends. We haven't been here for about seven months, so previous to that we did live here for about three and a half years. I'm not exactly sure on the exact amount, but it was about that. So yeah, I missed all my friends, and it's going to be so good to catch up with them tomorrow, because three of them are yarny people too, so they all crochet and knit, and I met them when I moved to New Zealand, um, and they, I think one of the ladies may have watched my videos, I think two maybe, but yeah, very exciting. Um, so I'm going to go and I'm hoping to put in some more footage of the show in the next three days and yarn purchases and things like that. So stay tuned and yeah, see you in the next bit. And for three days we sat around and chatted and knitted, crocheted. I crocheted mostly. Uh, Karen, I think Karen knitted most of the time. She was making a cute little baby hat. Elena was making some socks and I'm sure there was other things they were making but I am trying to drive and concentrate so memory's not that great. Especially when the car in front of you cuts the corner. Yes buddy, get on your side of the road. And Carmen was finishing off a knitted toy and I would try and insert photos because the knitted toy was for my sister. insert a photo of that if I can, if I haven't already gifted it by the time I get to take the photo. What else? Yeah, so it was three days of knitting and crochet and there were people spinning with their spinning wheels. Uh, I'm sure there would have been some cross stitch or something like that, but it was mostly targeted to yarn and fibre related crafts. So spinning, like there was, um, what do you call it, like fibre things that you yeah, spin. Tell I don't spin. And there was lots of yarn to buy. There were project bags, jewellery, and then knitting and crochet notions like scissors, stitch markers, uh, and all those sorts of things that you use when you're knitting and crocheting. There were patterns to buy. There was a pattern competition. It's a design competition, sorry. Where I think there was about three or four maybe five designs and you got to vote on the one that you liked and then that person who won the competition received a little medal which was really cool. Uh, there was a games that they were playing. There's also classes. I think Friday is just sit and relax and chit chat day and then Saturday and Sunday are the classes. I, myself and um, my friends Karen, Elena and Carmen, we didn't actually do any classes and last year, so last year all four of us went and then the first year it was just Karen and myself um, and we've never done any classes because I don't know why I just found that I this is going to sound so big headed but I knew all the crochet stuff that was being taught in the classes but at that stage I wasn't for my, this is only me though I wasn't confident enough in my knitting to do a knitting class to understand exactly what they were talking about and to be able to keep up with the class and the teacher. So I didn't do any classes last year. That's why I didn't do that. And then this year I didn't really, again, didn't want to do any classes because the other ladies weren't doing any classes and I thought, oh, well, I'll just miss out on time with them. There were a couple of free talks, but I think one of them we missed. We realized it like two minutes before it started, so. Because <laughs> everybody disappeared. There's like a common area where everybody can sit around and chat. And everybody disappeared and we're like, where's everybody gone? Not not everyone, like a few people sitting around. And then we realised it was the free talk. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be inserting videos and photos as I'm talking. I bought way too much yarn. 
Actually, for myself, I didn't buy that much. I bought six six skeins for a jumper design I want to make for myself, and there will obviously be a video tutorial and ribbon pattern. I bought four skeins for another jumper pattern that I want to make, but I was going to make it for my sister. Uh, what else did I buy? Oh, I bought some mini skeins from my friend Jess, and they were an eight ply yarn, which is a number three weight yarn in the US. And just about an hour or so later, I got a message from Jessica saying, can you get me some four ply? which is fingering weight yarn or about a number two weight yarn and I was like oh I just bought the eight ply ones but it didn't matter so I kept the eight ply ones because they were really pretty anyway with blues and I think greys as well uh, so so I searched we all searched for there was about 16 stalls in total and I would have I would say about I think all but two of those stalls had yarn of some description so I tried to find some four ply minis for Jess, but the only ones I could find, and my friend Jessica's from California in the US, and the only ones I could find were hand dyed by a company in California. What are the odds? The only ones I could find, and they were, they were really expensive, and there wasn't that much yarn. I mean, they're mini skeins. I know they are labor intensive because they, they're a lot more work, but I just thought they were really expensive for what they were. But I wasn't paying for them, so just. But I said, you know, that they are quite expensive, and they're dyed in the same town or the same state that you live in. So it's kind of really not getting the experience of the New Zealand unwind retreat if I'm sending you yarn that's dyed in your same state. I didn't think that was. And they were beautiful, and I think they were sparkly, but I just didn't think that that would be exciting. So I said, I told her that, and then we looked for some other yarn and I found some beautiful they were all hand dyed uh, most of the yarn was hand dyed there are a few companies that produce their own yarn there was two companies there that produce their own yarn like fruit and mill and I don't think it's hand dyed I think it's machine dyed don't quote me on that but then there's the other stalls who had actual hand dyed yarn so I you know browsed all those for her and you know I keep saying you know anyway yeah, browsed all the stalls, sent her some photos and got her on video chat and showed her what there was and she picked out some yarn. Anyway, I'll insert some photos of that as well. And it's very pretty. And I bought some yarn for another friend the first day I went. I won't say who it is because um, they may be watching. I bought some yarn, beautiful yarn, and I picked what I like because we kind of have the same taste. And then the next day, this is when I had to get the yarn for Jess. She picked out the yarn, and a yarn for herself. So I've got two friends, two separate skeins of yarn. I get home the other, so we get home the other day, and I put the skeins of yarn, one for my friend, who I'm not saying who it is, and one for my friend Jessica, and it's the same color. Same yarn, same color, from the same um, company called Bleating Art Yarns, who I will put in photos and stuff here. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I could have just bought two when I was there, but it didn't matter because there was plenty of yarn to buy. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much our holiday. We did other stuff. We caught up with friends, went out for dinner, uh, went exploring one of the days out to a place called Grand Furley, which I think is about an hour and a half from where we were staying. We were staying in Dunedin. So I think I've got some little bit of footage, so I'll put that over the top as I'm talking so you can see that. We stopped at a bakery, which is run by a friend, a friend of ours, and had some beautiful food. I had a bacon and egg slice, which is so yummy. And hubby had a pork and apple pie, which he said was really yummy. I'm not really a meat pie person. That actually sounded really nice. It's going to go dark, I think, because I am going in an underground car park. Where everybody is here. And I thought it was going to be quiet. Come on. So, does anybody else hate doing groceries? I hate it. I really do. It's so boring. 
boring and then you've got to get around everybody else and I just realized I've pulled through on the car park and I need to get to my boot. Oh, I'm sure I'll get it sorted. Yeah, so I'm going to go and do groceries. I would literally pay someone to do my groceries. Where we live, they do do, I don't know if our shop here does it. Don't know. But I know they do, uh, what do you call it? home delivery with the groceries there's a red light on my phone anyway uh they do home delivery with the groceries from the store but where i live where a house is they don't deliver to us so i have to go and get it when we lived in new zealand they did um home delivery from the local supermarket which was countdown if you're at aussie countdown is their new zealand's equivalent to woolworths and um and yeah, I used to get it home delivered. It was like Christmas. It was like Santa Claus bringing you presents. And um, all you had to do is unpack them and put them in the cupboard. So I really miss that about New Zealand. <laughs> I miss other stuff too, but um, that's one of the things. So yeah, like I said, I need to go and get my groceries. Does anybody want to do them for me? Anybody enjoy doing groceries? Anybody hate doing groceries? Leave a comment below of if you like it or you hate it. I hate it because I'm not a meal planner. So I get to the shop with a list of things that have ran out and then have no idea what to buy. There is a car pulling up next to me. No idea what to buy and go home with stuff that doesn't go together for a meal. I know, I need to be more organized. Anyway, I'm gonna hang up now. Hang up? We're not in a phone call. Whatever. I'm hungry and I need to do groceries. Not a good combination. I'm not craving sweet stuff, so that's a good thing. Normally when you do that, you end up with heaps of lollies and, and um, chocolate biscuits. But we ate. I know I said I was about to go, but I'm just... I'll keep going. We ate so much food. I... I do Zumba twice a week and I was just happy with the way I was my body was looking and everything like that I'd lost all the weight I'd put on whilst living in New Zealand and then we go away for 13 days and I've almost put it all back on and I know I'm not saying and I know most of you are going to say oh but you're skinny anyway but in myself I feel comfortable when I don't have jiggly bits <laughs> and now I have jiggly bits I ate so much food and with me all my weight goes on my tummy it doesn't go anywhere else oh it does go to my bottom and a little bit on my legs but mostly around my tummy and everyone says oh are you pregnant no it's a food baby so I've got major food baby going on but that's okay but within the first two days we've been home two days my tummy went down so much because we lived like we just lived on snacks like healthy snacks well tin fruit and what was the other thing baked beans but just because we weren't eating huge meals for breakfast lunch and dinner for just in that two days like when we traveled when we we're flying we didn't have big meals but just in those two days i feel like i've lost a bit of weight does that make sense because we weren't keep eating all the huge meals so it was fun while it lasted and i said before I went, I went, I'm going to eat all the stuff I missed, and I totally did, and I made the most of it. There's one thing I didn't get to do was eat a bacon buddy from a cafe we always used to go to. They, um, they'd they sold the business, which it was for sale when we were leaving New Zealand, um, when we moved back, and it was for sale, and they didn't keep the same menu, so the beautiful bacon buddies that they used to make with hot chips... <gasps> that wasn't there so I was a bit disappointed about that but hey that's life and what was the other thing I really wanted to have a super thick chocolate it's called a chocolate super thick so it's basically a chocolate thick shake like what you get from McDonald's uh but it's at a at the dairy so it's so good so thick like you literally need a spoon to eat it, it tastes so good because of the New Zealand dairy is the cows and the milk and cheese and everything's amazing 
and then we just pegged out on all the food. <laughs> like I said, totally worth it. So yeah, now I have to go to Zumba and work extra hard. And then in June, I'm going away for six weeks to England. And if you've missed that announcement, there's going to be a video pop up. It may be on this side. I don't know which side I'm pointing to. I think it's this side. Um, there's going to be a video telling you about my England trip and where I'm going to be. So yeah, I'm going to be eating my body weight and food for six weeks because I'm I am English and I have been back a couple of times since since we immigrated and I just eat all the foods that I miss whilst we're living in Australia. So hey, it's a roller coaster of eating and not eating. All right, now I'm definitely going to go because now I have to do the groceries. All right, so I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. And until next time, happy crochet. And I'm going to insert videos and photos. And so there may be a little bit after this. I'm not sure how it's going to all work out. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye. Today's adventure is walking up the steepest street in the world, which is Baldwin Street. So let's see if we make it.